हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज़ आशीष एंड दिस इज़ अवर सिक्स सेशन ऑफ ब्लैक बुक क्वेश्चन डिस्कशन इन दिस सेशन सिक्स सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू एसिड कैटलाइज्ड हाइड्रोलिसिस ऑफ एस्टा दिस क्वेश्चन आई हैव फ्रेम्ड फ्रॉम अ वेरी गुड बुक दैट इज पीटर साइक्स इन दैट पीटर साइक्स at uh, page number 243 one very good explanation of ester hydrolysis is given from that explanation i have framed this question uh, in this ester hydrolysis question before discussing the question first we should discuss a uh, small part of hydrolysis uh, how the ester do hydrolysis there are actually three situations if we discuss the first situation what is actually happening in this first situation we have this ester and uh, we do this reaction in acidic medium acidic hydrolysis first simply think uh, in this reaction who is the initiator whenever you do any reaction mechanism simply first you should check who will initiate the process so in this reaction it is clearly like mention that h positive is the initiator of the process okay if h positive is the initiator where it should attack here we have two oxygen and both are having lone pair electrons both can be protonated the first thing is both can be protonated but the more probability of doing protonation is on the double bonded oxygen because this single bonded is doing resonance and increasing electron density on this double bonded o so protonation can be done on any of the oxygen but more probability uh, is on this double bonded oxygen okay right if we do this protonation i'll get the situation this oxygenium ion right o r dash this is a protonated ester now water molecule will attack because after protonation the electrophilicity will increase water molecule will attack and will get one tetrahedral intermediate this o r dash and this o h this is the tetrahedral intermediate and in the later stages this o r will protonate become leaving group will move out and any of the oxygen give back up and carboxylic acid will come out as a product so this is the standard condition when r uh r is like a standard alkyl group and we do protonation on the double bonded oxygen in the second situation suppose this r of ester is a bulkier alkyl right double bonded o o r dash and again we are like doing the hydrolysis in acidic medium more probability of doing protonation is same on the double bonded oxygen but there is no meaning if you do protonation here and activate this electrophilic side and water is trying to attack over here then this bulky group this bulky group will create a big steric factor it will create more steric factor and in that situation it will be difficult to attack on this carbon of this c double bond o so okay more probability is on the double bonded o but that won't give result so we do protonation on the single bonded oxygen okay then uh, you may ask then sir what is the benefit of doing protonation here if you do protonation here then that will become a leaving group right and as this leaving group move out as this leaving group move out we will get acylium ion r3c c double bond o positive this acylium is right now least sterically hindered as compared to the initial situation now water molecule can easily attack over here without facing the steric issue so whenever esters alkyl part is bulky probability of doing protonation is high on the double bonded o but that won't give result so we do protonation on this single bonded oxygen remove this alcohol part like um, remove this alcohol part and generate this acylium condition where it is easy to attack on the carbon without facing the steric issue in the third condition in the third attack 
the third situation is like we have this ester and now the alkyl part of this oxygen this o, o alkyl part is more bulkier in that case again initiator is h plus probability of doing protonation is very high on this double bonded oxygen okay go for the double bonded oxygen as you do protonation here and we have the situation like cr3 dash this is the situation again if you try to attack over this carbon of this double bonded oxygenium ion then again it may face some steric issue and at the same time if this bond come like in this way this move out like this will get a good cation like c r dash r dash r dash this carbocation now this is less sterically hindered as this is sp2 hybridized in later stages carboxylic acid oxygen will attack on this cation then uh, like or, or water can attack on this cation and we can get alcohol as the product right so now you please uh, try to catch my point ki whenever you do hydrolysis in ester will get alcohol and carboxylic acid here again will alco this will give alcohol the remaining part will become carboxylic acid in this case carboxylic acid first remove later stages when water attack you will get answer alcohol so ester hydrolysis is finally providing carboxylic acid and alcohol this is the final idea ester hydrolysis will give you like r c double o o r dash on hydrolysis on hydrolysis that will provide you r c double o h plus r dash o h right if the things are normal only then simply do protonation where we have more density attack the water will get tetrahedral intermediate this o r will move out as a a uh, leaving group in later stages and any of the oxygen will give back up we get carboxylic acid and alcohol out when r is bulky of co part r that this r is bulky we do protonation we can do protonation here but that won't give result so we do protonation here remove this part as a alcohol will get less sterically hindered as ileum ion then water will attack again acid and alcohol moved out already in previous stage now when alk oxy alkyl part is bulky this single bonded oxygen alkyl part is bulky we do protonation here moved out this 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 part actually moved out as carboxylic acid we get this cation now water will attack we get alcohol so these three are the major situation how the ester like uh, show his behave in the acidic condition in different different situation when the r are normal when only co uh, this left side r is bulkier when the right side alkyl part is bulkier in three different situation how they like change their behavior that actually i have uh, presented here now you please see the question in this question first case we are getting this type of intermediate right as we are showing this type of intermediate the things are very much clear the ester is a normal ester both r are the normal r in second stage this is the path p in the path q if you see this r part means this is not uh, like left part this is the right part single bonded oxygen part a this part this r part moved out as cation what does it mean this r is bulkier and capable to form stable carbocation and in later stages it will be attacked by water and form alcohol like our third case in this part uh, we are getting acylium what does it mean the left alkyl part is more bulkier so there is no meaning of doing protonation on the double bonded oxygen because of steric factor no water molecule will attack so we'll uh, do protonation on the single bonded oxygen moved out this alcohol part we'll get acylium then water will attack this is our second stage right in the last stage we got acylium the things are very much clear it means here r is bulkier that's why we got acylium in later stages it is showing intramolecular fluid craft acylation that i'll show you a bit later first uh, we'll solve this p and q path 
तो एज पर द पी एस्टर इज नॉर्मल एज पर द क्यू द एल्काइल पार्ट ऑफ राइट साइड मीन्स सिंगल बॉन्डेड ऑक्सीजन एल्काइल पार्ट इज बल्कियर नो यू सिंपली चेक हु कैन बी पी हु कैन बी क्यू दिस सपोज इफ यू सी द ए ऑप्शन दिस इज स्टैंडर्ड एस्टर दैट इज ओके दैट विल डेफिनेटली फिट फॉर पी इन द क्यू ऑप्शन इफ यू से दैट लेफ्ट पार्ट दे आर शोइंग बल्कि दैट इज नॉट इफ लेफ्ट पार्ट इज बल्कि देन एसाइलियम शुड जनरेट सो दिस शुड नॉट बी द आंसर In this case, this cannot be P because this R is bulkier. While in the P pathway, R both R should be normal. This is not the answer. Both R normal. That is okay. In this case, right R is bulkier. That is only our basic need. The right R should be bulky so that it can create very good cation. So C should be the answer. And D is wrong answer because in D again left part they are showing bulky. While as per the P, both R should be the normal R. I think everyone got this clarity. Uh, in ester, don't go left right. Simply focus. that in three different situation how the ester they change their behavior right when both are normal simply do protonation then attack water when left r is bulky then remove this alcohol as a leaving group create acylium and then attack in that case there there should be no steric factor when right side bulky remove this part as acid create alkyl cation then water will attack right now i am showing you the next part of this paragraph this is the second part what i am going to show you in this second part now they are discussing about path r and path s okay means now we are going to discuss r and s previous question we have discussed p and q now i am going to discuss r and s s ileum they have generated and in later stages water will attack okay so s ileum uh, generated uh, that meaning is uh the r part should be the bulkier part right here we have this ester and obviously this is the left part and this is bulkier right tri methyl phenyl tri here phenyl phenyl methyl again this left part is bulky here left part is not that much bulky because phenyls are present on the like bottom side position like this meta meta and para so that cannot be the answer you just neglect this answer okay and now you should be a bit more careful because in the s part they are showing no hydrolysis just acylium after then intramolecular fluidal graft acylation that they have actually mentioned so for this part hydrolysis uh, they have mentioned okay, okay we have to like go with this way we have to like do hydrolysis in that manner if you see then this part is a very good part why because bulkier left part acylium uh, we can generate i'll show you this d option in that situation uh, we have this methyl uh, methyl uh, methyl and because of that bulkiness i have removed that part i have removed that like a uh, alcohol part this one and because of the octate completion condition by oxygen uh, will get the situation like c triple bond o positive this is now the octate complete like stage of this acylium ion now in the acylium ion now water will attack water will attack will get the compound like carboxylic acid right in this case will get the compound like carboxylic acid right perfect then you can ask sir why you have like uh, select this uh, particular d option only you can go for this b also no? okay because first one of a option and d option are same why like uh, you didn't select this b option i'll give you my explanation because here we need to select any one of the perfect absolute answer okay if you see the last case they have not mentioned hydrolysis and they are discussing about intramolecular fluidal graft acylation okay in that situation if you see this the second part s if i show this second part here we have phenyl phenyl this phenyl and suppose that will become c double o positive and in the later stages 
like by resonance that will create the situation like phenyl 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 and this octet completed acyl ring now this phenyl ring only will give backup like this i'll show you very properly i'll show you here phenyl here phenyl the right side phenyl i'm showing like a benzene ring so that you can easily understand this acylium this acylium when this pi shift and give back up to this this is called friedel craft acylation and you will get the answer like this you can now easily understand you will get the answer like phenyl phenyl now friedel craft acylation done and it will get like aromaticity back when you remove the h this will be the product for the such situation where the intramolecular friedel craft acylation is required i need phenyl group here that is why b option cannot be the answer here first is okay but again these phenyls should be on at, at least one phenyl should be on the ortho position then it is again a wrong option that is why d is the perfect and right answer and the same question actually almost close to the question uh, came in j advance also they have asked the uh, degree of unsaturation of this intermediate part if you check here you can do one mistake if you simply stop your intermediate here your answer will be like a wrong answer because if you do this octet completion best stabilized cationic condition then your degree of unsaturation will be like benzene ring 4 benzene ring 4 benzene ring 4 benzene ring 4 4 4 16 and 2 pi bond 18 so degree of unsaturation we are getting 18 here if you go in this way 4 4 ja 16 plus only y 1 pi bond you will get degree of unsaturation 17 so whenever suppose two resonance structures are there and there is a probability of doing octet completion then we should go for the best resonance stabilized condition then we will get the perfect answer like 18 right so this is the question of uh, Uh, ester hydrolysis right uh, i think everyone got this question this is nice question actually a similar type of question uh, already came in olympiad also so uh, my suggestion is ki whenever you get time uh, read peter sykes or cladden in these two books we have framed many question from the content of these two books so i think this is the fine uh, finest question right Thank you everyone thank you we will meet in the next session